Hey guys, it's Oda King Live coming at you again for another Pickups of the Week video. However, this Pickups of the Week is more like pathetic scraps of the week. Um, I wasn't able to go out much on the weekend due to the fact that I was broke. Like, I literally had no money. Um, and I kind of got owned at one of the places I did go. So I will uh, tell you that as I go along here. So for now, I'll show you some of the things I've gotten, you know, a little while ago and just some scraps and... Other little bit of little bits and pieces of interesting things I picked up um, here and there. So first off is uh, this little transformer type plane. Um, I'm not sure if it's an actual transformer or a GoBot or some other type of you know bootlegged item. I believe it says Bandai there. Yeah, 1985 Japan, and it even has Japanese. So I'm not sure if it's even you know it might even be you know like a a Japanese toy like you know plane from I don't know Macross or something although I'm not sure I found it at the uh, blue bin there for a dollar or ten cents or whatever I paid for it missing a couple little things on it and it doesn't you know it's a little uh yellowed like a Super Nintendo you know and the uh, top part there doesn't really sit up well but uh you know whatever for for what I paid for it I'll take it uh, another interesting thing that I actually got from my grandmother she found it in my uh, old bedroom and decided to bring it up is this super rad Thundercats uh, light switch cover, you know, the, from, from friggin' Burger King, no doubt. Uh, but, you know, you stick it over your light switch, and it, it even glows in the dark, and it still glows in the dark. I mean, this thing is like 30 years old, and uh, it still freaking works. I mean, that just shows you how rad Thundercats, uh, you know, I, you know, I don't remember the, the actual king guy's name actually now that i'm looking at it but anyways um this thing's rad uh still got the back on it and everything and i love that thing and i'm going to put that somewhere safe okay next up is something i forgot to mention the other week that i actually picked up and because it wasn't exactly uh too game related but look at this beast you know we're talking it's the mach 6 from uh you know speed racer and if I can do this with one hand, maybe, maybe not. Boom! We got guns a blazing. We got the razor blades out the sides. I mean, well, I don't know what's under the hood here. Some sort of uh, mechanical, mechanical monstrosity. Almost looks like there was a some type of projectile in there that probably shot when you did that. Um, not in it, unfortunately, but the side guns are there and everything else. Uh, I don't actually remember his car doing that, but I don't know. Maybe it was from the re-release movie. But I paid a big two bucks for it at a local, you know, little yard sale. So uh, it's one of those uh, cannot say no to's. I also got a little yellow one, but I can't find that one at the moment. There we go. So for two bucks, uh, yeah, I took that in a heartbeat. Um, God knows how much this thing costs in the stores. Oh, apparently it makes noise and everything. I just noticed it has an on-off switch. Huh. I'll have to look into that deeper uh, one day. All right, now. As for the main reason as to why I was broke, I'll show it before I uh, get into uh, why I was so broke here, is because I went and found that bad boy. Whether you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you may have seen it already. So... I got that off a local selling site. Um, somebody was selling it for $30. Boat, driver, everything. Box is what's where it's really at. I mean, I'd pay 30 bucks just for the box. So, he, uh, it was up for about a day when I saw it. And he already had like 60 views on it. So I thought for sure it was gone. I messaged him. And then like two weeks later, he gets back to me. He says, you know, uh, everybody else dropped out. If you still want it, come get it. So you better believe I went and got it. So I paid him the 30 bucks for that and I am super stoked. That is my, uh, that's my first and only currently, you know, original like 80s G.I. Joe box. I don't have any of them. Even as a kid, I didn't have the boxes. I was one of those kids, you know, I threw away my boxes. I didn't really start keeping my boxes until Nintendo. Like my Atari 2600 boxes, I threw all those out as a kid too. I didn't start collecting them until the Nintendo age. And then I smartened up. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, I picked these up at the dollar store the other day for a couple bucks each. Oh, what the hell? I guess I may as well show them. 
So, um, these are some sort of uh, Lego dudes, Kubros, whatever the hell those are. But um, this one's Master Chief, and I think these were $4, which I'm sure when they were sold in Walmart or whatever they were, they were a bit more than $4. Um, if it will focus, that's the entire set right there. No, you don't want to focus. You want to be a bum because of the light. There, what about a side shot? There you go. So I'm not super interested in Spock because, you know, I'm not a big Star Trek fan. You know, I'm not a big uh, Assassin's Creed fan either, so I don't really care about Ezio. And then uh, while I do like, you know, uh, you know, Schwarzenegger there, the T-800 Guardian or whatever, if it's uh, from Terminator, I still wasn't too interested in him. So for now, you know, they, they still got them, but for now I just got Master Chief. Uh, had to get Skeletor, of course. Let's see if I can stick him there somewhere. And then, of course, you know, if you got Skeletor, you got to get He-Man. I think He-Man looks kind of weird. I mean, he's got like a, a mean, you know, cranky face to him, and that's a little strange. But anyways, these are Kubros. I don't know if I'll open them. Maybe I will and stick them together. We'll see. So anyways, uh, then what happened on the weekend was I went to a... A community yard sale and this chick was selling ds games and 3ds games she had animal planet 3ds for or is it animal planet or animal crossing sorry for two dollars two dollars and i didn't have any money i couldn't believe it i went you know she had a bunch of other games too for like two three bucks i was getting you know gonna make her a deal on the whole thing for like 10 because they were mostly girl games you know and they ain't gonna sell, so whatever. So then the uh, next booth down, I find a PS4, you know, what was it, Advanced Warfare for like $3. You know, case everything, $3. I mean, that game still sells for over 20 at, you know, GameStop, EB Games. So I took off to go to the bank. I get back there at 12.04. 12.04! And apparently it ended at 12, and they were gone. I mean, gone. Like, no sign of them. They're gone. Like, bullshit they closed at 12. Those chicks left at like 11.30. There's no way they cleaned up their entire table, got it all in the car, and left within four minutes. So I was extremely disappointed I didn't have any money. Because I, I did have five bucks prior, but when I first left the house, I stopped and I bought some Ben 10 toys for my kid for five bucks. And boom, there goes my five bucks. And that's what I needed to buy these two games. So I hope he enjoys those freaking Ben 10 action figures. But anyways, that's it for today's pickup. Like I said, I got owned. It was pretty weak. Uh, it was nothing but scraps. All those cars is pretty sick. And then, um, oh, and that G.I. Joe thing, you know. What? But anyways. So uh, I'll talk to you next time. Uh, like, subscribe, you know, freaking share, blah, blah, blah. Next time. Peace.